have a little friend with me. This is Buddy. He could almost pass for uh, my mascot. He's like a little black sheep. Uh, he's just had a haircut yesterday, so he looks a bit funny. Um, but today, we're going to be talking to you about the three uh, biggest costly mistakes people make when applying for a loan. So that can be a little bit frustrating uh, sometimes when you're a broker because you're trying to do the right thing by your client and you're trying to help them achieve a result. And sometimes the client doesn't understand that you're on their side. You're trying to help them achieve their goals. And often they'll just go and do stuff, which, uh, buddy, come on, <laughs> which can mess up the finance application. So biggest mistake number one that people make is they don't declare everything. So when someone asks you, whether it's a bank or a broker, what all your assets and liabilities are, you have to declare everything. So all your debts, even if you have credit cards where you don't have anything owing and maybe you don't have to make any repayments on it, but you still have that debt, it's still a liability, it's still outstanding, so you have to declare it. Same with interest-free cards. You might have got an interest-free card five years ago and you paid it back but and you haven't used it since, but you still have that facility, so you have to declare everything. If you don't declare something and the bank finds out, they will instantly decline your application just on that basis. So you must declare everything. Interest-free debts, credit cards you don't use but still have, um, hex debts, everything. Just if you're not sure, declare everything and your broker or the bank will tell you if it's legitimate or not. So uh, number two, don't change jobs. I know it seems simple, but when you actually apply for a loan, you're not approved yet, okay? So you can't change anything until you actually have the full approval. So if you've got pre-approval, that doesn't mean you're fully approved. You cannot go and change jobs. I've had an application where a client uh, wanted to restructure their investment portfolio. So it was very, very complex, lots of properties. And it took me a long time to put the application together. Uh, he was planning on changing jobs, didn't tell me. I told him when the application was submitted. Uh, about five days later, the bank called me because I'd done the employment check and was like, oh, your client doesn't work there anymore. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? So I called my client and was like, have you changed jobs? And he's like, oh, yeah, I got another job offer. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> um, so his application was instantly declined and he actually shot himself in the foot a little bit on that because that was the only bank that would accept him. So he now has to wait another six months to a year before he can apply again because of his situation. So tell your broker everything is the moral of the story and do not change jobs. If there's anything that's changing in your situation, let your broker know and don't change anything until you're actually approved, which is kind of like brings us to the third biggest mistake, which is, you know, along the lines of don't change anything. If you're refinancing, it doesn't mean you stop making your repayments. I've had some people that for some reason think they don't have to keep making their repayments because they're refinancing. You must continue to pay all your debts. And if you have savings that you need for a deposit, don't go and spend it. So, your situation must remain the same from application to formal approval. So it's really, really important so that you're applying for a loan. You don't change any, anything. You declare everything and you're upfront and completely honest about your whole application. Hopefully that's been helpful and uh, hope you enjoy meeting Buddy. Have a good weekend, guys.